Welcome to AmirAcademy.com. In physics, let us discuss about basic properties of electric charges. We have seen before that there are two types of charges, namely positive and negative, and their effects tends to cancel each other. Here we shall now describe some other properties of electric charges. All of the sizes of charged bodies are very small as compared to the distances between them. We treat them as a point charge. All the charge content of the body is assumed to be the concentrated on the point in space. There are basic properties of electric charges. That is, charges are additive in nature. A charge is a conserved quantity. Next, quantization of charge. Basic properties of electric charge. The presence of electric charge are not only seen in the field of science, but also in the daily lives of human beings. For instance, rubbing the dry hair with a roller ends at making some hair strands stand up and is happen because of electric charges are present everywhere in everything. The example of just mentioned was the example of electric charges temporarily getting charged. What is electric charge? It is a basic physical property of matter and due to this property the force is experienced when kept in the field of electricity. The electric charges are of two types that are positive charge and negative charges. What is positive charge? Look at here. A positive charge or protons have a charged charge of 1.6 positive 1.6 in pen raised to minus 19 coulomb. A positive charge has its fields lines emerging from within the within and going up to infinity. Look at for imaginary it's a positive charge, point charge. Here the charge is going from outwards to the point charge. Up to infinity it goes out. Negative charge or electrons have a charge of minus 1.6 in 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. That is a negative charge has its field line coming from infinity to that charge. Is a negative charge. That is from infinity to that come to that point charge is a considered as a negative charge. The above example where hair strands start start to attract to the roller is due to the electric charges. Similarly, rubbing a balloon on hair attracts hair to the balloon. In case of two balloons are simultaneously rubbed, the balloons will start to ripple each other, but they will attract and have strands. The rate of change of electric charge is known as electric current. Electric current is defined as charge per time, that is I equal to Q over T. Now, properties of electric charges, first one, in order to look at the properties of electric charge, consider the electric charges to be really small, known as the point charge. Point charges are smaller than the distance between them. Additive, additivity of electric charges. Electric charges, when they are considered as point charges, are scalar in nature. With that, it is important to note that the charges can be point charges, but they are still positive and negative charges. The additive properties of electric charges says that if there are n number of charges present inside, the total charges present will be the algebraic sum of the individual charges. That is capital Q equal to Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, addition of up to n charges. It may be positive or negative. The algebraic sum is the total charge on that material. Now, conservation of charges. 
the conservation of charges says that charges are neither created nor destroyed. That means we cannot create our own charge or destroy it, but they can be transferred from one body to another, but they cannot be created or destroyed. In an isolated system, the charge are always conserved. Quantization of charge. According to the quantization of electric charge, electric charges are defined as the integral multiple of you know, that integral <coughs> multiple of charge present on them. Hence, in an, any system, the charges will be equal Q equal to n into E, where n is the integer numbers, E is value of the charge, that is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. How many number of the such electrons is there? That much multiplication, that is, uh, that n into E, that is a total charge. Some other properties of electric charge. Charge is a scalar quantity. Charge is transferable. They transfer from one body to another. Like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. Charges is always associated with mass. Now, that means more mass body having more charges than less mass body. Let us do an example problem. If 10 power 8 electrons move out of the body to another body every seconds, how much time is required to get a total charge of one coulomb to the other body? That means you have to find uh, how much time it takes to <coughs> transfer one coulomb of charge from one body to another. Here, yeah, the given things. That is here in one second. In one second, <coughs> there are 10 power 9 electrons move of the body, move out of body, moves out of body, <coughs> out of given body. Therefore, the charge given out in one second. In one second is equal to one point six into ten power minus nineteen into ten power eight. In one second, there are 10 power 8, not 10 power 9. It's given as 10 power 8. That is 10 power 8, which is equal 1.6 into 10 power minus 11. Columns. The time required to accumulate a charge of one column. Time required to accumulate one coulomb of charge is equal to that is one over one coulomb over 1.6 into 10 power minus 11 coulomb per second which is equal 6.25 into 10 power ten power ten seconds. Which is for the a call.
six point two five in into ten power ten seconds divided by this is per second uh, that much second is happened here that is six point two five into ten power ten seconds we converted in years. divided by 365 days for one year into 24 hours per day into 3600 seconds. So by calculation which gives <coughs> 1980 years. Thus to collect a charge of one coulomb from one body to another body with 10 power, 10, 10 power 10 electrons move out every second, we will need approximately 2000 years. It's not equal to approximately equal to 2000 years we need to transfer one column of charge from one body to another body in this manner. That means yeah, if 10 power 8 electrons move out of body to another body, when in every second if the speed is like that we can say this to transfer one complete coulomb of one coulomb of charge it take it to take 2000 years. Therefore that one coulomb is such a big unit. Normally we are using, therefore we are using a micro coulombs, milli coulomb cycle calculations. It is however also important to know what is roughly the number of electrons contained in a piece of one cubic centimeter of a material for example, the cube, cubic piece of copper of one centimeter contains nearly about 2.5 into 10 raised to 24 electrons. This is for extra information. Now, this is a, the problem is solved and we have done about uh, uh, different charges. That is uh, basic properties of electric charges we have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.